At Zilla, we are dedicated to the innovation of caging, lighting, and equipment solutions that provide proper husbandry for your pet's long and happy life. To see our entire catalog, visit ZillaRules.com. Hey, what's up, Rattlers? So reptiles can be amazing. They can be beautiful, and they can be really weird. So I've compiled a list of the top five weirdest reptiles in the world. Now, these might not be the weirdest reptiles in the world, but it's the top five weirdest reptiles that I have found and filmed in the wild. I'm Dave Kaufman, and I am obsessed with reptiles, and I have been since I was nine years old. 25 years later, I made a trilogy of award-winning movies about them. Now my life is all about touring the world in search of them in wild places and checking out some of the most awesome breeding facilities and reptile expos while I'm at it. So come with me and join my reptile adventures. Number five, Flying Dragons. So our countdown starts when I was in the middle of Southeast Asia in Thailand. We didn't have to search long to find a real life dragon, you know, one that can fly, or glide as the case may be. The flying dragon or draco is a weird little lizard that has elongated ribs and skin which when extended makes a perfect hang glider which it can glide from tree to tree to escape a predator. Just look at those wings. Pretty colorful and yet pretty weird. When they cling to a tree, they look almost like any other lizard, but when you get them down and spread those glider wings, you can really see how awesome they really are. These lizards are so weird, they also have colorful skin flaps on their heads, which they use as a rudder in the air, and also to flag other weird lizards that come into its territory, as if to say, hey, this is my tree. There are many other trees like it, but this one is mine. Now, where was I? Oh yeah. So these weird adaptations is what makes the flying dragon number five on our weirdest reptile list. Number four, leaftail geckos. In the mountains of Queensland, Australia, there's a peculiar little lizard that makes its home here, the leaftail gecko. These weird lizards are found primarily in Madagascar and Australia with several different types of them. Not only do they specialize in camouflage, but the idea behind the huge leaf tail is that if a predator such as a bird wants to eat it, it'll just peck the tail first, confused over what's its head and what is its tail. If it does go for that weird tail, the gecko can drop it and make its getaway. Which is weird, because if I was a bird, I'd just be pecking everywhere on the camel blob of a lizard in front of me, not just the tail. But I guess that's just another thing that makes these weird reptiles, and why the leaf-tailed gecko is number four on our list. Number three, the Santa Catalina Island Rattlesnake. On a lonely desert island in the middle of Mexico's Sea of Cortez on an island called Santa Catalina is a group of reptiles that are found here and nowhere else on Earth. It's a really cool place in the world. And what makes it such a cool place are these rattlesnakes. Just by looking at them, they don't seem so weird, but between the brown phase and the white phase, I've always liked the white phase. They remind me of an Oreo blizzard from DQ. Man, those things are good. I've always loved this shot. Look at that sun coming through the eyes. Not bad. Not bad. Anyway, I know, it's just a rattlesnake. Why is it weird? It's because of this. These are rattlesnakes that don't have rattles. I hope that's, you know, not anticlimactic or anything. Good God, who chose this music? Without any large hoofed animals on the island which might trample these snakes, over time they have degenerated their rattles. They don't need them anymore. It also makes it quieter for them to stalk birds in the dry bushes. So the Santa Catalina Island Rattlest Rattlesnake is number three on our list of weird reptiles. Number two, the scaly foot. In the outback of Australia is a weird, and really, I mean weird, reptile. It's got an identity crisis going on. I mean, it looks like a snake, no eyelids like a snake, but it's got external ear openings, so it's kind of like a legless lizard. Maybe. 
So is it a snake or is it a lizard? It's weird for sure. It's kind of sweet, I guess, because the ants just love this guy, but look at that. It even has a regenerated tail just like a lizard. Snakes can't do that. This weird little dude is called a hooded scaly foot, and it's actually a lizard closely related to geckos. It's only found in Australia. <laughs> weird animals from Australia, you're kidding, right? I know. These keep their eyelids clean with their tongues, just like geckos. This is a nocturnal species that has a weird way of eating, finding insects, spiders, and scorpions, and ripping them apart with a crocodile roll, then swallowing the chunks and licking up the body fluids that are left behind. Kind of like me with one of those Oreo blizzards. Seriously, you've got to try one of those. Man, this is such a weird reptile. But this is the reason why they're called scaly foots. These hind limbs are small and paddle shaped with modified scales and they don't really do anything. They don't help the lizard move at all. <laughs> Look at that weird thing. They're just kind of there. And that's what makes the hooded scaly foot number two on our weird reptile list. Number one, the Mexican mole lizard. On the mainland of Baja Sur, Mexico, in a town called, uh, I forgot, something in Spanish. Anyway, here lives what could be the single weirdest reptile on the planet. This is the Mexican mole lizard. It's actually an Amphisbanian, which are known as worm lizards. You know, ugly little guys with beady eyes. They are so different from other reptiles, even their skeletal structure and skin is different. Man, think about the crap these guys would get in school if they were human. Anyway, they spend almost all of their time underground eating ant eggs and termites coming out only after the rains. It uses its flat segmented body to move along the ground in a snake-like motion, but uses its strong front legs to pull the rest of its body along. Look at those strong legs. Maybe it can trade some parts with the scaly foot so they can have some symmetry in their appendages. I, I don't know, whatever, it's a thought. Here in Mexico, they are called the ajalote lizards. Go ask your Spanish teacher what ajalote means. It's thought that at night, this lizard crawls in your bed and burrows right up your ajalote. <laughs> Seriously, I'm not making that up, and uh, I guess you don't need to go ask your Spanish teacher about that anymore. <laughs> You're welcome. But look at that, it could be true. These weird lizards are expert burrowers, but as this cheeky lizard finally finds the back door, it doesn't fall behind as the number one weirdest reptile in the world. These butt puns doing anything for you? Uh, no? Well, that's, that's just weird. So <laughs> there it is, Rattlers, the top five weirdest reptiles in the world that I have found and filmed in the wild. But you know, there's weird reptiles all over the world. So Rattlers, if you can think of any other weird reptiles that I should have added to this list, comment below and let us know what it is. Also hit that subscribe button and when you do hit that bell so you never miss an upload, hit that like button, hit that share button so that everybody can see this video. And also I recently launched Patreon. That link is in the description below. Please check it out and consider becoming a supporter of this channel. And until the next adventure, Rattlers, love the planet, feed your reptile obsession, and rattle on.